another episode of Locked In. Today's episode is going to be a review on the Black Label from State Bicycle. And if you guys haven't already seen the unboxing video for this bike, click this annotation above. So in this review, we're going to go in over four things. Specs, features, riding impressions, and price. So let's get into the specs. Now, I got the Pepto-Bismol Pink Edition State Bike Black Label. The frame is a 6061 alloy, TIG welded, double butted, not that single butt, all about that double butt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that. No, that. Next, you're gonna get a full carbon fork from Esser with a carbon steer tube, and it comes with an integrated sealed headset. Next, you're gonna get a track crank set from SRAM, and it's their S100 model with a 48 tooth chain ring. Moving on to the wheels, you're gonna get a 43 millimeter deep V with sealed bearing hubs that are fixed free in the rear. It's gonna include a 16 tooth cog and lock ring. And for the cockpit, you're gonna need an alloy stem and drop bar and a 316 alloy seat post topped with a. No, no, no. What does it call it? it? The premium aerodynamic race saddle. You do get pedals and cages and front and rear brakes included. Now on to features. This frame definitely features a bright ass paint job that will definitely be noticed. It is a brighter pink than I even thought it was based on the pictures, but honestly, I love it because it's ridiculous. And with the seal bearing hubs and headset, that definitely lowers your maintenance since it's not a loose ball bearing setup like some other frames in this price category. And with the full carbon fork that I mentioned from Esser, it definitely does dampen the front end of this bike because with aluminum, as most of us know, it transfers a lot of vibration into the rider, but carbon fiber absorbs those vibrations, smoothing out the ride and lightening up the front end. And now let's get on the riding impressions. Since it is an aluminum frame that is very rigid, it does ride a little harsh. So on longer miles, you definitely wanna make sure you're wearing a quality bib short. And for me, I did have to change the saddle. And as far as their aero saddle, me and my butthole didn't agree with it. I would definitely encourage a carbon seat post upgrade as well, because that would smooth out the rear end of the bike. Now with these wheels being 43 millimeters deep, they are on the heavy side. So initial riding impressions when you're getting off the line is they do take a little bit of extra effort compared to the lower profile box section rims on the Samurai build that I just reviewed. But they are definitely really sturdy and could probably take a really good beating, especially on a daily commute or ride. The 4816 gearing is great for city riding. You still can push it to a higher speed, but it's not gonna make you cry every time you see any kind of a hill. And as far as the handlebars, that was one downside of the bike I really didn't like. Not a big fan of the shape. It had a nice little flat top section, but the forward position and the drop position was way too far forward and deep in my opinion. And I'm reasonably flexible, but I wasn't a big fan of the shape. I would definitely pay the little extra money to upgrade to the FSA shallow drop bars that they offer on the website. And since it does have a faux pursuit style geometry, it does favor the more aggressive rider because it does have a shorter head tube so you can get in a really low aero position if that's what you're looking for. Now on to price. This bike comes in at $7.59 in its stock configuration and that is including shipping since State offers free shipping on orders over $50. And keep in mind State's usually running some kind of promotion where they'll include something with the bike or give you a discount. Make sure to follow them on their social media outlets especially their Instagram since they usually post pretty regularly announcing any kind of deals that they're running. Make sure to check out the annotation above for the unboxing video so you can see how complete this bike comes and how much work it takes to put together. So my final thoughts on the Black Label is it's a solid platform for anybody looking for a sporty fixed gear that they might want to eventually race. But like I had mentioned before, I would definitely pay the a little bit extra for the different handlebar upgrade. So I hope you like this review. Make sure to subscribe, like the Facebook page and the Instagram. Buy some locked in swag! And there are links below to go directly to State Bikes website so you can check out all the other colors that this frame is offered in. So thanks for watching another episode of Locked In. Let's get locked in.